Hello. Mm. It started a lot faster than I was anticipating. I have a gum gummy in my mouth. These gummies are really good. These are sugar, three grams of sugar for the bag. And um, yeah, 40 grams of carbohydrates, 17 grams of fiber, and three sugar for one bag. And they're the sweet fish. And actually, I kind of like them. They're good. Nice little, little treat, you know, something you can toss in your bag when you go out to the beach or something like that. And you don't feel badly about all the sugar, but it's still satisfying. I tried the peach one. Mm -mm. I didn't like it, but I like the Swedish, the fish. So anyway, hello and welcome. Uh, this is Paper Delights and I'm Shannon. And uh, while in the past I was coming on Monday to Friday, I uh, had to take a bit of a break, but I'm back, baby. And I will be coming on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, unless otherwise... Um, I let you know and it's July and last year at this time we were doing Christmas in July and so I wanted to show you some of the pretty papers in the new mini catalog so the mini catalog comes out from <clears throat> um, August customers will be able to order but if you're interested in a catalog I can give it to you um, so August to December and it tends to have specific Christmas, fall, Halloween are sort of the three main um, pieces that they have in there. The annual catalog tends to have a more general feel. This one, it does tend to be more specific to those three sort of celebrations. And speaking of celebration, that will also be starting in August. And they've got some super cute, you can kind of see here, some paper, st stamps, more Christmas paper, super cute. So, if you live in the Ottawa area and you would like a catalog, please send me a message. I'd be more than happy to drop one off. So while I can't show you the pictures inside, I can show you some of the paper. I know it doesn't make sense, but hey, I don't make the rules. So we're only gonna make two cards tonight because I am woefully unorganized, which I know it's shocking. It's summer. I have more time. You know, you'd think I'd be better organized, but nana, nah. I am not with my dad's birthday. Anyway, this beautiful, gorgeous paper, it's pink. Like it's more of a pink tones and the mint macadam and some really lovely colors, blushing bride, crumb cake, uh, misty moonlight, mossy mellow and polished pink. So it has more of the pink tones and it's just gorgeous. And one side has a, like, a, like a foil, like a silver foil to it. And then the other side is just a solid. So it is super cute. I love the colors. You know, not everyone's into the, the reds and the greens. And that's great. So this one gives more of like the pinks and the pale greens. Look at that. So cute. And you get this nice striped shimmer paper. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. So this one will be available. It's called Whimsy and Wonder. And if you have any of the foil paper from, uh, I think it was last mini catalog. It was part of their uh, Valentine's Day where you got the Blushing Bride with Cocoa Rose and Sahara Sand. It goes really nicely with this Christmas set. So as you can see, I've got a few pieces left. So it looks really nice. Also with that set, there is a really nice blushing bride uh, ribbon, which I love. It's always nice to have a nice pink ribbon regardless. And my desk, oh my goodness, it's a sad state of affairs. And, and, and there it is. And also with the set, there is these wonderful snowflakes. So you know how in the past they've had the doilies I think they still have the rectangle doilies, you know, and they've had circle doilies. So these ones are a pearlescent snowflake doily. And they are just so pretty. And they have such a nice shimmer to them. 
So yeah, so that's a package of those. You get 24. So that will also be in that new catalog. If you want to see what else is in that catalog, some really pretty things, like I said, send me a message. Happy to drop one off for you. All right. So the first card we're going to make is with this gorgeous mint macaron. Just give me two seconds. I'm going to change my view so I can see if there are any um, questions. Okay, good. So this is uh, mint macaron. And we're just going to fold it over, just a standard card. Now this star here is from this die set, and this is in the main catalog, and it's called Christmas Trimmings, Christmas Trimmings Dies, and it also has paper, and I believe it has stamps. I just don't have them right in front of me at this moment. Um, and we will be making some cards with them as well, but like I said, I was woefully unprepared. And so I just did one of the dies, which is the star, and I did it out of the Sahara sand, that uh, foil that I had left over. So a really simple design. We've got this lovely mint macaron trees, whimsical trees. That's the paper on the back. So my plan is to put this strip here and then this strip here and then we have our have our star. You can put it down near the bottom or up near the top, whatever you'd like, and then we can put a little sentiment. I hadn't gotten that far ahead because like I said, I was busy doing stuff like eating strawberry cheesecake frosties. You know, the good stuff. All right. So we're going to put that one there. And then I'm going to put this one on top. And I'm going to try and make sure that I've got the same amount of edge over here as I do over there. But that's not not a big deal. Now we could just get a little card or a little tag with a stamp and stamp, you know, a Christmas sentiment on it. Let me grab again a quick This is a great itty bitty Christmas. I think there's something similar. So let's get, what do we want? No peeking till Christmas. Thinking, what's this one? Thinking of you at Christmas. Yeah, we could do that one. Let's do that one. All right. Now, because this card is really pale, I'm really hesitant to go in with like a dark kind of color. I'd be more likely to do maybe like uh, a night, um, a misty moonlight or a gray or a mint macaron. I don't have those. I was also thinking I've got the soft succulent But I think I'm going to go with a gray, just a basic gray. And I'm going to stamp it off first just to make sure. Because like I said, we've got some nice paler uh, tones here. So I don't want it to be, yeah, that'll be perfect. I don't want it to be really dark. And I'm going to try and center it. 
perfecto. And it looks a little fuzzy, but I can't tell if that's the camera or if it's not focusing properly or if it's coming up on the other end. I'm not sure. I'll have to rewatch what's going on. All right. So then we'll put this one down. And then I'm going to put a couple of dots of glue in a couple of the key spots, sort of the th where there's a bit more This stuff is so sticky, you don't need a whole lot. Just put it on like that. And then if we wanted to add a bit more sparkle, we can use some of these little iridescents. Or we've got these little, oh yeah, I like these ones. These are the metallic pearls. They're a good staple to have the gold and the silver. You can't go wrong. You use them for a lot of stuff, or at least I do. Oops. Try not to get hair stuck underneath your, your pearl, like that. There we go. All right. So there is our first card. Really simple, like I said, it's a nice change from, you know, the really dark greens and reds. So let's do this one. Now this one, again, I uh, kind of half designed it. So I have the ribbon, so I thought we can either put the ribbon down like this, and then with a snowflake, we can either add a sentiment or not. But then I thought maybe I'll put it here and put the snowflake like on it, kind of like that. I leave it kind of simple like that, which I think I'm gonna do, because I like that. But this is a really pretty ribbon, and it's a really nice pink too. Very pretty. And you can use it for other things too, right? Not just Christmas. Oh yeah, that's the back side. Isn't that pretty? So also want to let you know that until August 2nd, um, all of the designer series paper in the annual catalog, the regular catalog, is 15% off. Oh, I'm a bad girl. I always do this. I get talking and I get distracted. Mm. Okay, note to self, don't do what I do, okay? And because I use my good adhesive, of course. I'm having a hard time to pull it up. All right, crisis averted. I never was one of those kids that could chew bubble gum and walk at the same time either. So, you know, talking to you and doing cards at the same time can be a bit of a stretch. I'm just going to put a glue dot underneath just to, for added security, because, you know, it's me. There we go. Okay. And then I thought I would just 
put it on, but I'm going to use a little dimensional in the middle. Let's see if that's, oh my goodness, it's almost like it was meant to go there. Look at that. <laughs> Perfect. All right, and just put it right there. Now I am noticing it's a little bit bouncy, so I'm going to put another glue dot just behind the ribbon so that There we go. There. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Can you see that shimmer? So pretty. So there we go. Two cards for our Christmas in July with some of that gorgeous paper. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I always appreciate a like and a share. Please let me know in the comments if the video is blurry. I will, uh, I'll go back and double check too. I don't know what's going on with my phone. I can't seem to get it to work the way I used to. So I have to play around with it a bit. So please, please, please stay safe. Uh, if you're interested in joining for a socially distanced outdoor in-person card class, please let me know. There are very limited spaces. We've got four people plus myself, so that's five, at uh, six feet tables, so one at each end. So, and you each get your own bin of stuff. So it'll all be very safe. But like I said, I'm only doing four people. So, um, if you're interested in the card kit, but you'd prefer not to come and do it in person, that's fine. Not a problem. Let me know and I can put a card kit together for you to do at your place. So thanks you again and have a wonderful evening. See you Friday.